Okay, here's my bag with half a cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and half a cup of water. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it seems a little bit kind of dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more water and mix that in. So just added a little more water to give it more of a paint consistency. And make sure it's nicely mixed. And then this should be enough for, potentially for all three of my colors. So I'm going to take another Ziploc bag and I'm gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna put some into this one so that I can mix a color. problem solving I'm putting my empty bag in my measuring cup so I'll open this and I'm putting some of my base mixture into this empty bag so now here's my bag that I'm going to mix my first color in And the first color that I'm going to try to make is with paprika, which is orange. And we'll see what we get. Well, it's not as orange when I start to mix it. It almost kind of looks more brown. And I have to squish it around quite a bit to get that color to mix in. And I'm going to take a fork. because I don't have a um, I don't have a design created with anything else. So I'm just going to use the tines of a fork. And I have my foil to use as my palette. And I'm going to put some of my paprika paint onto the foil. And I'm going to spread it. It still seems a little bit thick, so I think that I could probably even add more uh, water. And I'm going to do my print on the piece of paper. This is just paper towel, it's not regular paper. So I am putting my fork into my paint. To make my design. And I think the paper towel is terrible paper. It doesn't make a design the same way. Probably need a little bit more water in this as well. It's a little bit more liquidy this time. So it's a little bit of an experiment, right? And put my fork tines in it. And my 
design kind of looks like bird feet. 